In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to export Excel data to Word using VBA. For this tutorial, we will be working with this sheet over here. What we're going to do is create a macro that allows the user to specify a separator and then export the data into a Word file. For that, let's open up the VBA editor window and add a new module here. Once done, we will start off by assigning the parameters for file name, which is to be saved, separator, which will be used to detach the data in columns, and the range of cells to be exported. Now we're going to assign all the variables that are going to be used in the code. After that, we will specify that if any error occurs, the macro will be ended. Next, we will insert a conditional statement that if the cells are selected, then it will only export the selection into a Word document, and if nothing is selected, then the entire sheet will be copied. That is why we have used the selection only keyword here. After that, we will specify a condition that will copy the data at the end of the Word document if it already exists. Otherwise, a new Word file will be created. For that, we will be using the append data keyword here. Now close the statement by putting the ending statements and let's insert a new module. In the new module, we will assign variables for file name and the separator and insert the code to save the file using the Microsoft Word format here. If the user clicks on the cancel button, then the code will stop itself and return to the sheet. Otherwise, it will prompt you to enter a separator which is used to separate the values in columns once the data has been copied. Once done, let's put the ending statements and go back to Excel sheet. Now let's run the code. Great, it's asking us to choose a location for the file. Notice that below, it's saving the file in Word format. Let's browse and select a location and click on Save. After that, it will give us a prompt or the separator value. For now, let's insert a comma and hit Enter. With that done, let's go to the place where we saved the file and open up the Word document. And over here, you can see that the data in Excel has been copied in Word using Visual Basic. Thanks for watching. This was a HowTech.tv tutorial.